Hi guys! So pardon the poopy hair. I just didn't feel like doing it today. I'm kind of lazy. Anyway, I hope you guys like the special effects video I did for you yesterday about the bloody eye, peeled skin, whatever you want to call it, blah blah blah. Um, today I wanted to show you a super quick one. It honestly takes about 10 minutes and half of that is getting the glue to dry on your forehead so it's like you can do other things while you're waiting for the glue to dry and then put the rest on and go to your party or whatever the hell you were going to go for. Anyway, it is just a simple bullet to the head, gory special effects thing. It looks really cool and it looks like you took a lot of time to do it, but however, it only took you a few minutes. It was awesome. So let's get started. Make sure your hair is completely out of the way. Now for this I would recommend Lash Adhesive over Liquid Latex because Liquid Latex did not work that well when I tried it. So you're going to put a big old circle wherever you want. I would recommend the middle of your forehead because you're going to have blood dripping down. And then once you're finished you're going to let it dry for about 5 minutes. Now I'm using some kind of cuticle tool for my nail kit. You can use whatever you want as long as it's not super sharp and you're going to make a hole in the middle and then slowly push it out toward the edge of your circle. Now I'm going to take my foundation and I'm going to put a little on my finger and then I'm going to blend it around the fake wound that way it looks like actual skin and not just adhesive. Now take any kind of translucent powder and a fluffy brush and dab it on the wound. That way it blends it in with your actual skin. Next we're going to take any kind of black eyeshadow. I just used one for my Profusion palette. And we're going to fill just the inner circle in. That way it creates the illusion that the wound is deeper than it actually is. Now take your vampire blood and get some inside the wound. Don't use too much so your black eyeshadow won't rub off. Now as you see in a second mine was a little too runny for me so I had to use a brush. I would not recommend this because this actually looked pretty horrible and I had to redo it later on for pictures but just create a streak running down your forehead and your nose that way it looks like you were actually bleeding then use a q-tip and get a little bit of the fake blood on there and kind of blot it around your wound so that way it looks more like splatter as if you were actually shot and some blood did splatter out. Now as you'll hear me say in most tutorials, do touch ups as needed. I felt it needed a little bit more black eyeshadow and a little bit more blood. And then your end result will look like this. See, so that was super easy and it took me probably about five minutes once the glue dried. So yeah, if you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and go check out my other video. I'll leave the link somewhere in this area here and just click on that and watch my bloody eye makeup tutorial. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to be doing more of this stuff in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to my channel and you know all that blah blah blah. Have a good day. Bye.